What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you three things that I love about the Samsung Galaxy A13. I recommend you pay attention and watch the full video because if you like what I say, this could be your next phone. That being said, the first thing that I love about the A13 is the exterior design. As you can see, the phone is completely made out of plastic, both at the back and at the sides. And it's also one unified piece of plastic covering everything, which is the cheapest way to protect a phone. Although, to be fair, it looks pretty good on the A13. For those interested, this plastic cover can be configured in three different colors, black, white, or light blue. Besides that, the only visible component we can find in the exterior is the camera set, which is probably my favorite part of the design. I really like how they just made a couple holes for the cameras, instead of creating a giant block protruding from the back, like in most other phones. Some people don't really like the way this phone looks, because, as I said, it is very simple, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's one of the best looking Samsung phones I've seen in a while. And also that simple look is the same one we can find on Samsung's most expensive phones. So yeah, I, I think it's actually a good thing that it looks simple. Anyways, uh, moving on, I think a minute ago I told you the back of the phone is made out of plastic. And uh, that's not really 100% correct. This phone is made out of premium plastic that somehow feels better than normal plastic. It's kind of like a mix between glass, plastic, and aluminum. In fact, the first time I took it out of the box and held it in my hands, I genuinely thought it was made out of aluminum. And the only reason I know it's made out of plastic is because I looked it up on Google. It has a very, very similar feeling. It's, it's, it's hard to describe over a video. You have to touch it in your hands in real life to understand what I mean. But don't worry, because although it is a sort of like futuristic plastic, plastic 2.0, it still has the same properties and advantages as normal plastic, which means it's still impossible to shatter. You can <laughs> kick it as hard as you can, throw it to the floor, nothing's gonna happen. You can't shatter plastic, it's impossible. Nothing's gonna happen, although be careful because the front is made out of glass and glass does shatter. So if you're gonna use it without a case, I would advise you put like a tempered glass protector on the front. That's at least what I would personally do with this phone. Another feature that I really like is the fingerprint sensor because it's one of the fastest I've tried in my life. It only takes around 0.2 seconds to unlock the phone. And I also like it because it's placed in the middle of the phone, which is great for left-handed people like me. As you can see, I usually unlock the phone with my index finger, which sits around the middle of the phone when I grab it. Therefore, the sensor and my finger are in the same place, which makes things very easy. But hey, don't worry, right-handed people, you're not going to have any issues either, mainly because most phones, including this one, are made with right-handed people in mind. And of course, if we are talking about good things, I have to tell you about the battery. This phone has one of the best batteries I've seen in my life. One of the first days that I had the phone, I decided to download some games and apps to test out the performance. And it took me around five hours to finish. Five hours of continuous use of multiple apps at the same time. And at the end of that day, I decided to check the battery percentage I had left. And boom, baby, it was above 50% which is absolutely crazy. It basically means that I could have used it for another five hours the next day and still end up that day with some juice left. For most people, this phone is going to give you at least a two times improvement in battery life compared to the phone you have right now. So yeah, if you value a very good design, very good ergonomics, and one of the best battery lives in the market, this is definitely a phone to consider and it's $150. I can't really come up with a better alternative in that price range. So if that's your budget, 
This is definitely the phone to buy. For those interested, I have to tell you that right now on Amazon, it's available at a very juicy price. You'll find a discount link in the description.